Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's wherever you are at. If it's morning there, if it's morning anywhere else where you are at, um, I want to um, say something to everyone. In um, this is Royce. My name is Royce Freeman. Royce Freeman, and I call myself the Mighty Man of God. And um, hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm sharing. Um, I call myself the Mighty Man of God. And um, wanted to share something today. I had a friend that shared me a video about about how the wife and how the husband is. And, and when I saw that, I the Lord was showing me how the body of Christ should be. How we should all be in the body of Christ. And because I believe that when you are in the body of Christ, hold on guys, um, when you are in the body of Christ, When you are in the body of Christ, okay, I just learned, I just learned something today. When you are married, when you are married, you and your husband are married. When a husband and a wife are married together, it's just like your wife Okay, you guys are together. Together, you guys do things together, right? When you guys are in battle, it's not like here, here's your wife, you are behind your wife, and your wife is in front of you. She's in, she's in, she's with you, in battle with you, and you are in. You are in the back. You are in the back of her, and then it goes, it goes the other way around. Then you are the front. She's the back, and sh here she is. You and her are walking in, in things, walking through things in life. And when you walk through things in life, and then you turn around, and then you both are in front you both are facing things ahead and this is what i see in the body of christ even in marriages okay you both are in battle together in unity you both are in battle in unity and when you are in unity you both are in unity in battle together against the enemy. And when, uh, when the enemy, when the enemy comes against you like a flood, when the enemy comes against you through what people say to you out there, out in the world, then you, as the body of Christ, you as the bride of Christ, stands up and you take your ground and you stand up against the enemy and you tell the enemy, enough is enough. Enough is enough against my family, against my job. Enough is enough. People out there say, oh, you don't need to fight. 
You don't need to fight. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do this. Yes, you do. Because the body, the body of Christ, like when you are married, two, two, a man and a woman are married together. You fight together. You fight the good fight of faith. That means you quote scripture verses. You tell the enemy where to go and you tell the enemy where you you tell the enemy where to go never never give in to what the enemy tells tells you even if somebody tells you you don't need to fight you don't need to fight you don't need to fight ah uh, what does the word of god say to me the word of god says i need to stand I need to stand and fight the good fight of faith. That means, what that means, I need to quote scripture verses. I need to tell the enemy where to go. People out there tell you that we don't need to quote scripture verses every time. We don't need to do this. We don't need to do that. Uh, what does my word say? What does the word of God tell me? The word of God tells me I need to quote scripture verses. I need to tell tell the devil the word of what the word of God says about me, about the body of Christ. Why ain't the body of Christ standing up in battle, in unity, together? Why ain't the body of Christ doing that? They so scared to get messy. Why they are it's just so they so scared to get messy in in the church and they don't wanna they don't wanna do it. So when I saw that that video earlier this morning, as a husband and wife stands in battle. In the church, and the husband and the wife in the church, like the pastor, has, say, the pastor is married. The husband and wife, it's in that church, is supposed to be a witness. It's supposed to train the church, train me up. To be who I need to be in Christ Jesus. That's what the man of God, the man of God, it teaches it's on the stage. The man of God, when he teaches the word of God, that's what he needs to teach. And that's what he needs to equip us. The body the body of Christ, the temple of the Holy Spirit. Teach us the truth. Teach us how to stand in battle. This is what I don't understand. Nowadays, churches, nowadays, churches, nowadays, don't want to teach people the battle. They don't know how to, they don't want to teach people how to stand in battle but when the husband and wife together in the church that's why we need women we need men in the church <coughs> excuse me that's why we need men and women in the church to help us to stand and fight the good fight of faith in the battle, in the battle in the church. There's too many people are fearing what people will say. They are fearing because they might lose somebody in their church. So what if you lose somebody in your church? Let them move on. If they don't like what you are saying in your church, move on. Because where I'm at here, it's just a building. It's just a building here. 
This is going to fade away when Jesus, this is all going to go away when Jesus comes back and takes us home. Or when he comes back, we are the earth, we are the vessels. We are the vessels where God uses us to be the vessel, to go out there in the world, to preach the gospel, to tell people what God wants us to do. Be obedient, people. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight the battle, guys. Fight the battle. Don't tell your wife or don't tell anybody to fight the battle on your own. Okay? Yes, it's good to fight the battle. It's good for me to learn to be in battle with God. Uh, not with God, but with be in battle in the Word of God. In the Word of God. Okay? This is where you're going to get into the battle with. With God right here. With God right by your side. And God will help you fight the battle. God will help you fight the battle, guys. We need to all stop. Vickering about one another, we need to all stop fighting about this one, this person, this person, this person. We need to fight the battle and say, devil, enough is enough. Enough is enough to the church. I'm tired of the devil pulling the church down. And destroying the church, the husband and wife together, even the body of Christ together. We need to all stand in unity together. In unity together, guys. And fight the battle, guys. Fight the battle. Fight the battle, guys. No matter what your situation looks like, fight the good fight of faith. Fight it. The husband and wife together is supposed to learn, supposed to train the people up in the church how to fight the good fight of faith. We don't stand alone, guys. <clears throat> we don't stand alone in this battle. I'm not alone. You guys are not alone in this battle. We are not alone in this battle, guys. Everybody, people think that they are alone in this battle. And you're not alone. You're not alone. God is with us. He's walking with us every day of our lives. He's walking He's talking. He's he along our narrow way along the narrow way. I don't know how that song goes, but you guys know. I, I you guys might might remember that song. Okay? I might not remember it. Okay? I am not good at remembering things, but God will bring it to my attention. But I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This is on. I, I better not be sorry, guys. But I believe. When I saw that video earlier this morning. That made me wake up. Made me wake up. Made me wake up. And open my eyes to the truth. Okay. To the truth of God. If we don't have. Have. A female. A female in our presence. In the church. And we don't have. Have females. And we don't have this person. The female. To help the male. To stay on track with the word of God. 
or the male to have with the female to keep them on track. Okay? We may be walking our walk with God, but we are walking it together, locking arms together, guys. Locking arms together. I'm sorry. I, uh, yesterday, last night, I gotten so fit up last night, so fit up about what I was seeing on Facebook. We are supposed to be lo loving the people out in the world, right? Loving the people out in the world. To be able to make their decisions. To be able to love the world like Christ has loved me. When I was in sin. When I was in sin. Did Jesus ever leave me? Did he ever leave me? He's knocking at the door of our hearts. He's knocking at the doors of the sinner's heart. He's knocking at their heart. He's saying, come on, let me in, let me in. And the body of Christ, as women and men, fight the battle. Fight the battle. And the church, the whole church, as a church, needs to stand in battle. I don't care what anybody says anymore. I don't care. I'm tired of what people are saying. Oh, it's never going to be that way. It's never going to be that way. <coughs> We're never going to be in unity together with other churches. We are all going to be in unity. We will, I will see it in my day and age. If I don't see it in my day and age, in this day and age, if I don't see it before God comes, you know what? God knows my heart. God knows your heart. But when I saw that video of the man And he demonstrated how the man, the, the woman was in front of the man, and then the man was in the back. So she, the woman, had, had the front of him, and he had the back of her. And then it turned around, reversed, and then he had, he had, her back and he and she had he he had her back and she had the front so and then when they both turned around they were both fighting they were both standing together in battle we don't do it alone anymore guys We don't do it anymore. We don't do it alone anymore, guys. We don't. I'm not in battle. I'm not in the battle by myself. When I ask somebody for prayer, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that I'm giving up on this prayer. I'm, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that, guys. It just means I want somebody to stand in prayer, stand in an agreement with me. When people, when I call people and, or I text somebody and say, can you, can you pray with me on this? I'm not trying to tell you I'm not trying to get advice from anybody. I'm not. I'm trying to get somebody 
to stand in agreement with me about this prayer, what I have in what I have in need of prayer. So, like I said, like when I saw that video earlier this morning, the bride of Christ and the groom of Christ, the groom, the men are the groom and the women, the women in the church, the women in the church are the bride. The women in the church are the brides and us men are the grooms, groom, groom men. We like when you get married, you are the husband of of the of the of of the of the wife. OK, you are the head. I am the head. I'm not the tail. My wife is the head, not the tail. OK, even if I was married, my wife and I are one together. We are one together. We do things together. We fight the battle together. So that's how the body of Christ needs to be, is fighting the battle together. In unity, guys, we need to stop this bickering and arguing who, who needs to be in battle. That's why I truly believe that people need to fight the battles. Remember how this one song goes. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. You know what? I don't fight my battle alone. I fight my battle with I fight my battle with Christ. Christ Jesus, and I fight my battles along with the body of Christ. Because the body of Christ is the army of Christ. And if you don't want to be in the army of God, if you don't want to be in the army of God and f helping people stand and take a stand in Christ Jesus and taking a stand for everything, in their life and helping them to stand, then you need to get out of the army of God and go to a different army of God. Okay? You need to get out. Stop fighting the fight. Stop saying that you're going to pray for somebody and you don't pray for somebody. That's being in battle. Okay? God come God wants us to pray for people. That's being in battle. Your your wives are are in battle. Men, if you are married, your wife stands in battle for you. She prays for you. She uplifts you. She lifts you up. To God, to Almighty God, and men, you post to you lift your wife up to God, and you give your wife up to God, and you ask God to protect her, keep her safe, and the rest of us, the ones, are in the body of Christ. We need to start praying for our leaders in the body, in the body of Christ. That's standing in battle. We need to get ourself, ourself, like our self focus. Stop focusing on, oh, it's all about me. It's all about me. It's all about me. It's not, guys. It's not all about me. It's not all about it's not all about Pastor John. It's not all about um 
pastor so-and-so. I'm just saying. I'm just using. I know, I know another pastor named Pastor John too, but I'm just saying. Um, we are in battle together, guys. We are all in battle together. We need to start standing, standing together with one another in love. And you guys may disagree and agree, but you know what? God knows my heart. I may not understand the whole Bible, but I know the Bible. I know the Bible in my spirit. I live, I know my Bible, and I listen to the Spirit of God every day. Every day. People, people may question me and say, oh, are you sure you heard from the Holy Spirit? Are you sure you, you heard from God? You know what? I hear God in here, in my, in my spirit. I hear him right here in my spirit. And I feel him in my spirit every day, every day of my life. Why can't everybody else? Feel God in your spirit. I feel God in my spirit every day. Every day of my life. There's a good... I'm, say, I'm going to say something, guys. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to do this video today. Because I was afraid. I was afraid what people will say about me. And what they would think about me. But I'm being obedient. To God. To God alone. <coughs> That's who I have to answer to God. To God. I try to keep things simple. For people to understand. I try to. I try to keep things simple. For people to understand. I, I, I do. I try to. But if people do not understand. Do not understand. What I'm saying. And what I'm. What I'm saying. Take that to God. And have him pray about it. Pray about it, guys. Pray about it. Okay? Okay. I wanted to let everyone else know, too. I am in battle for myself. I'm in battle. I... I I hate to say this guys but keep me in prayer guys I'm asking you guys to come in agreement with me that I will stand strong I will be strong in the Lord that the enemy cannot tear me down. Cannot tear me down. Cannot tell me what to do. He's been, the enemy has been trying his hardest. Trying his hardest. Trying his hardest. To tear me away from the church. Tear me away from the body of Christ. He's trying his hardest, guys. That's why I'm asking for prayer. I'm asking for prayer. For you guys to come in agreement with me. 
that the devil has no stronghold. I'm going to be honest with you guys. And I'm trusting you guys with this. Okay. A long time ago. A long, long time ago. Long time ago. Okay. I've been set free. And I have been set free from homosexuality. From homosexuality. Okay? I've been set free from homosexuality. Okay? But the devil, the devil, the devil is trying his best. And I'm not going to take it. He's trying his best into getting to me because it's hard. Those of you are being, those of you, it's been set free from homosexuality and you fight the battle every day, fight those mind battles what the devil puts in your in your mind, I know what it's like. Fight the battle. Don't give up. I know the devil fights. It's in my mind. I have mind battles. My mind. I know God says in the word. For God has not given me the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. I know. I know that. I know that. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God has not given me the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. God said that, said that in his word. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. He will direct my paths. <coughs> he will make my, my path straight. He will direct my path. He will direct it. I believe God has a high calling for my life. I believe it. And I'm standing on it. I'm standing on this. I'm standing on the high calling in my life. Okay? I'm trusting you all. Keep me in prayer. Please, I feel like this is what I feel in my spirit, okay? I know I fight the good fight of faith, and I fight the battle. I fight the battle in my mind, and I read, I know, um, casting all these thoughts into casting all these thoughts to God. I do that. I do that every day. But every day, every day it comes. It comes. It comes every day. Those those thoughts. That's why I say we are in battle, guys. Take a stand. We stand together in unity. It's not for us to tear each other down. It's not for us to um, try to find out why we here, why, how did you get, how did you get from plan, plan A to plan B or plan B back to plan A? How did that, how did that happen? It doesn't have, you know what? We are all not perfect, guys. We are not perfect. We are all going to fall. We all going to slip up. 
We are all going to slip up, guys. But does that mean that I'm a sinner? Does that mean that God doesn't love me? God loves me. God loves me with all of his heart. God loves me enough to allow me to make my decisions on my own. Please pray for me and I will pray for you guys. Okay? I pray for you guys. I pray for all my friends every day. Anybody that's friends with me on Facebook, I pray for them. And I pray for people who are out there trying to ju uh, judging people. Okay? We're going to have to be we're going to have to be ready when God starts bringing people into the church. If God's going to bring a drunk a drunk person into church, prostitutes into church, homosexual homosexuals into the church, are we going to tear them down? Are we going to tell them they are not welcome in the church? Are we going to tell them that? We need to accept them and love on them and sit down with them and say, hey, this is what we believe. This is what what's the requirement for you to attend here or for you to attend anywhere and we need to ask them how can we help you to get set free from your addiction to get set free from this and this and this and this okay there's a lot of things there's a lots of things what we all need to get set free from I need to get set free from other things too. But you know what? People, be careful who you share it with. Be careful. Because when you share it with people, be careful. If somebody shares it, you share something what you don't want to be shared. Okay? and it gets out, then you know. Hold on, guys. All right. I'm going to end the video. You guys have a blessed day. God bless you. Love you all.